name's Lilith, and for today's video, we're going to explore vegan pie crust. So today I'm actually going to maybe be making the same recipe twice, one with Miyoko's butter and the other with unrefined coconut oil. We're going to look at the differences in the baking and the differences in the consistency of the dough, stuff like that, so that you can decide what kind of pie crust you want for your pies, what works best for your pies. Right off the bat, I'll say that obviously the butter one will have a more buttery flavor. Um, a little less obviously, the coconut oil one actually comes out with a very nutty flavor, which can be, which can be nice for like a nutty type of pie, or can be really nice with pumpkin pie or apple pie, because obviously nuts go with these. So for this recipe, you're going to need flour, sugar, salt, cold butter, or cold coconut oil and cold water. So I have my water and my butter still in the fridge and then I have my flour, sugar, and salt in these two separate bowls. And I think we're gonna start out with the butter one and then we'll move on to the coconut oil one and bring them back together at the end so we can see how the two bake differently, what they look like, what they taste like. So I'm actually gonna have my saran wrap out and ready because we're gonna after we make the dough, we're gonna turn it on to the saran wrap, pat it flat into a flat disc, wrap it up, and then put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour, and then we'll come back to it, roll it out, and put it straight into our pie pan. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for both recipes. I'm going to add my chunky butter to my flour mixture. And then carefully trying not to melt the butter, not to make it too soft. I'm going to toss the butter chunks in the flour and then start to break them up in my hands until they become about the size of peas. Just using my fingertips to do this. And as soon as my butter is all about broken up, and we still have this very dry, floury mixture. I'm gonna make a well in the center and add my water. And now I'm not kneading this, I'm just stirring it until the dough is just about all moistened. It's still very crumbly. Should've done this before my hands were messy. Ah! Okay. On my saran wrap here, I'm gonna turn my crumbly mixture, and then I'm gonna press it into a circle. So this amount of dough will make one top crust or bottom crust. So for each crust you need, you up this recipe. So if you needed to do a pie with a top and bottom crust, you would make a two time of this recipe. So you would make two, okay. Now that that's pressed into a little circle, not too melted. I'm gonna cover this with my plastic wrap and place this in the fridge so that it can get nice and cold before we roll it out. Next, I'm going to move on to the coconut oil one. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, add my coconut oil to my flour. And I was smart this time, I already have my plastic ready. Okay, so the coconut oil right off the bat is harder to break up. It kind of explodes in your hand into pieces, which usually it's hard to keep coconut oil solid. So that is a very good sign that it is pretty well solid and should stay that way for a short while. But it also means that when you take your dough out of the fridge before rolling it out, you must let it rest a minute so that the coconut oil isn't too hard and just stays in a chunk and pops right out of your dough. Okay, on my 
coconut oil is all broken up. Add my cold water. method I have for this right now. So yeah, just a little zero waste thing. I want to try this with the soy wax paper. So if anybody if anybody has a like how to make those papers that you can shoot over to me, I would love that because sometimes I don't have enough time to research all of the things I want to research. Okay, I have my circle. And I'm going to place this in the fridge for a little while. Also, I'm going to put a Sharpie on the coconut oil one so I know the difference real quick. Alright, and we will come back together in a little bit to roll them out and bake them. And then we'll try and then come back together to roll them and bake them. Okay, so it's actually been quite a bit longer than an hour since I put the dough in the fridge because I turned to making some other things to pass that time. I just finished kneading some bread dough because I like to make a fresh loaf of bread every week. That is what is sitting over there. But we're going to return to pie dough. I have two pie plates ready to go. And I'm going to grab my dough and get ready to roll them. So, like I said, the coconut oil one has to sit out for just a minute. So we're going to go ahead and do the butter one first. Before I even unwrap it from the plastic, I'm going to go ahead and roll it so that I know, so that I can get it to really stick together in a circle. Okay. And then I'm going to fold the plastic over and use this and continue rolling out the circle. center out until it is big enough to cover my pie tin. Alright, once I have this about big enough that I think it will fit in my pie tin, I'm going to use the plastic to help me flip it onto it. between a vegan butter and coconut oil. I'm going to let this sit in the fridge and rest for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. But first I'm going to go ahead and stab the bottom so that it stays even and it doesn't pop up while it's baking. And moving on to the coconut oil one. This one is noticeably firmer still and a bit more crumbly. Okay, it looks like this pie dough needs to sit for just another minute because the coconut oil is still too hard. Seems to be rolling out fine now. that the butter dough is stickier and a little more wet than the coconut oil dough. And that's probably because less of the coconut oil melted 
because it was much firmer and it doesn't have as much moisture in it as the meal with butter. Put this in the fridge for a few minutes and then pop it in the oven. have so it didn't quite go up the side so that's not it's not that it made less it was just my me not being patient enough to roll it all the way out so right off the bat I can see that the coconut oil one is slightly darker than the butter one actually gonna crack these open so we can kind of see how it flakes so if you can, I don't know if you can see, but this is actually quite flaky. It's falling apart into layers as I pick it up. It has a nice crumbly, flaky crunch. A little bit of that nutty flavor. And for the butter one, this one is not flaking apart quite as easy as that one. It's not really falling apart. Except when I try and take it out, it looks like. And there it goes. It starts to flake off. So what I'm seeing from the butter one is much smaller flakes as well. And because the flakes are smaller, it's holding together more. And that might be just I have to break up the coconut butter a little bit smaller than I did. And of course I'm getting a little bit saltier butter taste over here versus over here. I do think that the coconut oil pie crust is up slightly less tough than the butter pie crust, which is interesting. Um, but not not a big enough difference to really matter. I'm gonna use whichever one I want for whatever flavor I'm doing. And also, if you're making pie crust for, say, a savory pot pie or something, you can omit the sugar from these recipes and just do the flour, water, butter, salt, and then they won't come out with that slightly, slightly sweet flavor, which is what I did for these, because I'm testing recipes for my Thanksgiving pies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hit the like button if you like this video, if you got something out of it. Tell me what kind of pies down in the comments you're gonna make for Thanksgiving. I always make two, apple and pumpkin. I'm quite lame and stick to the traditions like that, but I wanna know what kind of pies you make for Thanksgiving, or if you even like pie. I'm not a huge fan of pie. I like pie crust and some other things you can do with it, but I'm not the biggest fan of pie hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe and you don't miss out on all of the Thanksgiving delights vegan style. Share this video around so everyone's pie crust can be top notch this year. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye y'all.